Hi everybody, this is Joe from Gojira and you're on Bloodstock TV. Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we're having a chat to Thomas from At The Gates. How are you, sir? Very good. Nice to be back in England, Excellent. finally. You're not very good. You're very tired. I know you're tired. I know you guys have just been rushing around all over the place. So don't worry. Relax. We can be, we can chill and chat. It's all good. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So you guys playing on tonight, and uh, yeah, you're going to be uh, our, our special guests after like being here ten years ago and uh, supporting Nightwish again, exactly the same as it was ten years ago. Oh well, no. At the gates, it's uh, in a different state now. I guess like more. Uh, Urgent. We feel really fired up. Yeah. I mean, we we always didn't feel inspired, but now it's really like a reaper. We're really feeling that. Yeah, set, cool. You know? So you've been doing lots of dates around Europe and been flying here, there, and everywhere. How how's that getting? Is it is it just touring ever get ever get boring? Ever get? No, no. I mean, riding in a van gets boring, but the rest of it is amazing. Yeah. We you know we're all friends. Uh, playing death metal, uh, hanging out with friends, cooking beer. It's very, very easy. Yeah. Anyone who complains, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bloodstock, what does Bloodstock mean to you guys? Because obviously, at the gates, I've played there, as I say, several times here now, and it's, it's one that people look for on the, on the list. What about on your agenda, when you're looking and you're seeing Bloodstock on your list, how are you guys feeling? The, all the festivals that we played in 2008 will always be special to come back to, you know, because that yeah. was like a very special summer for us. And uh, we came back once already and then here once again. And it, I mean, England in general is special to us because we, we almost feel like an English band, you yeah. know. Always had English record labels. Well, well, now we have a German one. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. But, uh, <laughs> like if, in the 90s, we always had English record labels, we worked with a lot of English bands. So we, we feel part of England, the English uh, scene in a way, so it's very, yeah. very special to us. Oh, that's good. And the new album's gone down amazingly well here. It's really good. I mean, we're good friends with Russ Russell, who, uh, who produced it for you. And I, Amazing person, yeah. He is. I was at the studio not long after you guys had left after and that, and he was still buzzing from doing it and everything. So you're happy with the outcome, yeah? Definitely. He, I mean, he's the kind of guy who makes a band sound like the band they are. You know, like some producers nowadays make it sound all plastic and the same, you know, like yeah. everybody else. But he like brings out the gut feeling of the band, like really the gnarliness, yeah. or whatever, like the real yeah. roots of it. And yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I've always, I've always, I, I'm not, I, the reason I do interviews, I have no musical ability whatsoever. <laughs> so, so that side of things, I never really, so that's why I went and interviewed Russ to find out what the hell is it that you actually do? So oh, he yeah, told yeah. me, it's basically twiddle knobs is basically it, so. Yeah, but you gotta know how to twiddle <laughs> exactly. those knobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also like, you can, People can be good at that, like technically, but then you have to have a fucking soul and heart into it. Yeah. That Russ has that. Yeah, he absolutely does. He's here somewhere, probably drunk in a ditch somewhere, but he's, oh, he's here somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, yeah. We'll try and have a chat with him at some point. We had a chat to him last year and he was, he was he'd had a few drinks, I think, <laughs> which is rare to say, but. I am so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would you be that surprised by that? So, yeah, so uh, looking forward to the show tonight then, yeah? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We're really fired up. We've done the same set now for like a couple of shows. I feel really tight, really feel energized, and being here really makes it even more like, yes, yeah. let's fucking do this. We've had an amazing couple of days, to be fair. We had Judas Priest there on Friday. We had Kajira here last night. It's been really, really epic so far. So you... Yeah, the lineup was strong this year. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, Brilliant. yeah it's been amazing. That was really good. We're, we are we're, uh, final day now. Most of us have been here four days and that lot, so... We definitely need you to give us a big old pick me up and, oh, yeah, and keep we'll us do going that. through we'll that. Do that. If death metal can pick you up, we'll try. It. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. So, um, what are the uh, what's the scene like in Sweden for sort of the up and coming thing? Because obviously Bloodstock's got a big a big sort of yeah. You know, we've got the New Blood stage here. We have our Metal to the Masses competition and that sort of thing. Uh, what what's, what's your knowledge like of the of the scene in, in Sweden? Is it something you still keep an eye on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, for uh, I would say Sweden lately has been very good for like like. Um, the outskirts of the metal scene, like yeah. the weird stuff lately. Yeah. That's the new up and coming bands there, you know? Because uh, otherwise, like the, our generation is like already established kind of thing, you know? And then yeah. that kind of death metal, it's not, I don't really hear many good bands in that scene, but it's fucking sprawling and everything with these like more yeah. weird well, offshoots. You yeah, know? that's yeah. what I like. I mean, I, lo I love the, 
the, re the reason that I ended up doing this is basically because I got involved in the Metal to the Masses at the grassroots level and oh, that. Yeah, so, yeah. so big arena bands and that lot, I very rarely go and see them anymore. Yeah. I go to like, 60, 70 gigs a year well, and they're yeah, all little get, bands. Like awakened again. Yeah, yeah, you sort of get that kind of. It's almost like the bands down that level sort of want it a little bit more. You get some of the more established bands that some sometimes look like they're going a bit through the through the motions on stage a little bit. Sort of been doing it for so long that it's just you know. But that sort of raw energy you sort of want. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's what we live for. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, excellent. Well, we'll let you get on with the rest of your interviews because I know you've uh, only just got in and you guys are going to be mega busy with the media and that. So. Uh, well. It's, cool. It's part of the not. Not job, I would not say job, it's yeah. part of what we do. You know? Yeah, exactly. When people want to talk about At The Gates and Unreal Record. Yeah. It's, it's, like, like, it's, it's, it's a it's, nice it's, thing to talk about for yeah, me. Exactly, you know? it's like this with me, you know, I get told, oh, what, you don't get to see many bands you're working all weekend. I'm like, yeah, but this isn't really work. Oh. This is just chatting about metal. Why would you not want to do that all day? That's what we do 24-7 anyway. So. And we've got sofas as well. No one else here will have sofas, I'm afraid. This is the, this, <laughs> this yeah. is the most comfortable interview <laughs> yeah. you'll have all weekend. It's not that muddy here either. No, no, we're good. We're all we're, we're, we're kept nice, and, nice and tidy here. Cool. Brilliant. Well, cheers for talking to us, Thomas, and I hope it goes well tonight. Yep. Thank you very much. Cool, cheers. That's, that's Thomas from Out the Gates on Bloodstock TV.